welcome you to the three arena here in Dublin, Ireland for this special Monday Night Raw Halloween edition on the eve of Halloween. And we are set to kick off the Deadly Games Eliminator, who's moving one step closer to Survivor Series. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds. Kevin the Deadly Games Eliminator, very simple rules. We have two triple threat matches taking place tonight on Raw. The winners of these matches are going back to the States, and they will meet each other this Saturday night in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, at the special Saturday night's main event live special, which will again be live this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Who will be the two men competing for Monday Night Raw to possibly challenge Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship on November the 19th at Survivor Series. Kevin Owens looks locked and loaded, but this is not going to be an easy battle as he's got two bulls approaching the ring. And his opponents, first from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo. Well, let's take you back to how we got to this Deadly Games Eliminator last week. Bobby Lashley in the middle of a WWE.com interview earlier in the day in London when he was ambushed by the street champ, Solo Sokoa. And watch this, Lashley sit off that ledge through the table. This was, of course, just less than 24 hours after Lashley had defeated Brock Lesnar at Clash at the Castle. We learned through Triple H that Bobby Lashley suffered some fractured ribs, will not be able to compete at Survivor Series, and is on the shelf for the time being. And again, it is all because of the street champ, Solo Sokoa. We're going to talk all about how we got here throughout this matchup. Well, again, we are in the three arena in Dublin, Ireland. A massive ovation for the man coming home. The Celtic Warrior! Sheamus is back in the house tonight on Raw! And representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! It is fight night here on Raw Halloween, and all roads lead to November the 19th, Madison Square Garden, New York City for the 2023 edition of Survivor Series. And who is gonna move one step closer to battling Seth Rollins for the WWE title? As we know, Sheamus, back-to-back -back months, has been involved with some absolute wars with the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. As latest as eight nights ago in Cardiff, Wales, an epic last man standing matchup between those two men that, of course, Rollins was able to survive. Nonetheless, here we go. Kevin Owens, Sol Sokoa, and Sheamus live and in living color here at the Three Arena in Dublin, Ireland. One of these men will fight the winner of tonight's main event, whether it be Karrion Cross, Tommaso Ciampa, or Shinsuke Nakamura, live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, this Saturday night at Saturday night's main event. Of course, the winner of that match will fight Rollins November the 19th in Madison Square Garden. A lot of interesting situations regarding this Deadly Games Eliminator, and especially in the triple threat matches themselves. You look at Sol Sokoa, the man who was responsible for this Deadly Game Eliminator. We caught up with Solo briefly last week in the backstage area, who basically said he took out Bobby Lashley because Lashley was at the front of the line for the WWE Championship, an opportunity that the street champ wants for himself. He's tired of waiting in line. He has taken his opportunity, and Solo went right to the head and took out the Almighty. We also speculated last week that the whole reason Solo Sokoa was placed into this Deadly Game Eliminator after being the cause of needing a new number one contender was basically to make sure Solo isn't causing any more havoc in the backstage area. Certainly a bit of a criminal way to get what you want, but nonetheless, Solo's got his opportunity tonight. He better capitalize on it. And again, the Celtic warrior Sheamus, who has been engulfed in wars with Seth freaking Rollins back in September at Unforgiven, eight nights ago at Clash at the Castle. Unfortunately, came up short in both of those encounters, but 
Maybe the luck of the Irish will be on Sheamus' side, not just tonight, but possibly if he can make it to November the 19th. Maybe a third time will be a charm if Sheamus fights Seth Rollins in Madison Square Garden. And what about the prize fighter, Kevin Owens, who's been really turning over a new leaf on Monday Night Raw as of late, taking care of his problems the old school way, in the ring, searching for victory, and has really started to regain the admiration from the WWE Universe. Owens has been on a bit of a hot streak as of late on Raw. Just last Monday night, him and Sami Zayn defeating The Miz and the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight in tag team action. Kevin Owens, I'm sure, would love his shot to become WWE Champion. He had one earlier this year, passed through his fingers, but maybe with this new leash on his career, Kevin Owens can find a way to take down Rollins at Survivor Series. All remains to be seen. First, you gotta get through this triple threat matchup. Then you gotta get through the special Saturday night's main event live this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's Kevin Owens taking out Solo Sokoa. Just three heavyweights throwing sluggers in this matchup. But again, it is gonna be a big night as we continue on with our two-week international tour. We are in week two, three arena, Dublin, Ireland. It's gonna be an epic night here on Raw Halloween. The Intercontinental Championship set to be defended. LA Knight puts the gold up against Sami Zayn, the man who has been hot on his tail over the last month and change here on Monday Night Raw. And again, carrying Cross, Shinsuke Nakamura, Tommaso Ciampa meet in the second triple threat later tonight in the Deadly Games Eliminator. And there's a lot of action to keep up with in this matchup. Every man throwing lefts, throwing rights, just trying to knock their opponents out. One pinfall to a finish here, no elimination style, so it's gonna be very interesting to see who's gonna be the cause and therefore the effect of two men Survivor Series opportunity going up in smoke. Really hard to get the momentum in this kind of matchup as well. Once you think you got it, your other opponent comes up from behind, just like Kevin Owens tried to do that time. However, Sheamus had it scouted. Look out below, big time maneuver by Sheamus. A little white noise on Kevin Owens. But Owens survives. Close call there, wait a minute, Sol Sokoa. Pop up Samoan drop to the Celtic Warrior. And with Owens on his feet, Solo turns his attention to the prize fighter. However, nobody home. And again, we are right back to where we were moments ago. Bodies flying left and right, and now it's Kevin Owens temporarily, the only man standing. And who is gonna get the upper hand in this matchup? Kevin Owens and Sheamus, they almost unintentionally better be thanking, wait a minute! Solo Sokoa, but hold that thought! A bro kick catches Owens off guard, but Kevin Owens survives. Close call there. This matchup nearly coming to a close. The bro kick out of nowhere. A little bit early on in this contest, though. Owens not done fighting just yet. Matchup keeps on moving forward. As we're about to mention, wait a minute, Sheamus rolling up Kevin Owens. Will that do it now? Sheamus, Kevin Owens, really every man in this Deadly Games Eliminator. Owens better be thanking Sol Sokoa in a sense for opening up this opportunity to possibly challenge Seth Rollins at Survivor Series. Look at Owens starting to take charge. Big time senton since the Celtic Warrior reeling for a moment and Solo catching Owens lacking once more. Man, this has been a hell of a way to kick off Raw Halloween. Halloween week, it's been an epic weekend here in the WWE. What about SmackDown Halloween this past Friday with the United States title on the line, the World Heavyweight title on the line, Gunther coming face to face with Drew McIntyre. What an epic night that was in London, England this past Friday night. Now we're here in Dublin tonight. This Friday we conclude our international tour in Glasgow, Scotland. Right now, Sol Sokoa we're gonna squeeze the life out of the Celtic Warrior with this bear hug here. Solo opened up the window of opportunity, but will he climb through it? And Sheamus throwing some stiff shots. Now close the doors on the ears of Solo Sokoa, and now Sheamus trying to take Solo to the air, not just yet. Those two heavyweights slugging it out. Kevin Owens getting caught in the crossfire that time. Solo getting hung up in the top rope. 
And you gotta believe Seth Rollins is watching this thing and even weeks out from Survivor Series just wants to see every man in this Deadly Games Eliminator just absolutely beat the hell out of each other. Solo gets sent to the outside. Second bro kick by Sheamus. Just like that, out of nowhere, Sheamus picks up the victory in the Deadly Games Eliminator. Well, Solo Sokoa thought he had his chance, thought he opened up the window of opportunity, unfortunately fails to climb through it. Sheamus takes the fullest advantage, and Sheamus is moving on to the finals this Saturday night in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! An epic homecoming victory for the Celtic Warrior here tonight at the three arena. But Sheamus will be taking the flight from Dublin all the way to Milwaukee as he challenges either Shinsuke Nakamura, Tommaso Ciampa, or Karrion Cross this Saturday night to challenge Seth Rollins on November the 19th at Survivor Series. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way, live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel membership proudly present WWE Bad Blood. News-filled night it has been here at the Three Arena in Dublin, Ireland. Raw Halloween is going down in the record books, and we are not done just yet. It is main event time here in Dublin, and it is the final triple threat matchup to see who fights the Celtic Warrior Sheamus this Saturday night in Milwaukee and the Deadly Games Eliminator Finals. First things first, the Harbinger of Doom, carrying Cross, making his way down the aisle. And you know Cross has got to be hell-bent on victory after what happened seven nights ago. It was last week on Raw in the O2 in London. Tommaso Ciampa, Karrion Cross looking to settle their issues one-on-one -on -one in a London street fight. And boy, did they beat each other pillar to post in this matchup. But in the end, Tommaso Ciampa using not one but two tables as his crutch for victory. There you see Karrion Cross crashing through the wood and Tommaso Ciampa taking the fullest advantage. The one, two, most importantly the three, and the black heart. Tommaso Ciampa leaving the O2 Arena last Monday night with a victory over the man covered in red right now. And of course we found out just moments before that O2 matchup last week between Cross and Ciampa, excuse me, that those two would be competing in this triple threat match alongside Shinsuke Nakamura. You gotta believe they had both of that in, they had that in mind, I should say, both of them during that matchup last week, thinking they wanna get the momentum towards this triple threat match tonight. The momentum has gotta be on the side of Tommaso Ciampa. But is the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross now more motivated than ever? After that loss last week and after a few WWE Championship matches, Passed through his fingers throughout the summer. Is Karrion Cross finally about to work his way back to number one contendership starting here tonight? I still can't believe the news we found out moments ago. Tyler Bate now getting added to the equation as if the WWE Championship situation at Survivor Series has already been complicated. Now, Sheamus could be the one, could be one of these three men. Tyler Bate has an opportunity to make it a triple threat. So many courses of action regarding that matchup November the 19th in Madison Square Garden. But as for tonight, will it be the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura, making his way to Milwaukee? And his opponents, first from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! Remember just a few weeks ago on Raw, Shinsuke Nakamura, a fill-in opponent for Bobby Lashley against Apollo Crews after Lashley was ambushed in the aisleway by the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. 
Something that Bobby Lashley has been on the receiving end a lot of as of late. Ambushes from Lesnar, the match with Lesnar, a clash of the castle. And of course, what happened last week in London with Sol Sokoa, the whole reason we have this Deadly Games Eliminator here tonight. And I still can't believe, moments ago, Sol Sokoa now ambushing Kevin Owens in the backstage area because Kevin Owens, I assume, well, I'm assuming this is the reason, was pinned earlier tonight and now Solo's mad at him. Somebody's got to get some chaos in the Monday Night Raw locker room. I should say bring chaos to a fold. There's so much happening tonight, I can't even speak clearly. Nonetheless, Nakamura ready, Karrion Cross ready. We need one final participant for this triple threat affair here in Dublin, Ireland. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! You know, Tommaso Ciampa is somebody who has been on the rise on Monday Night Raw for months. Remember that feud with Solo Sokoa? Things really got down to a bitter broken end between those two men. Ciampa last month at Unforgiven, defeating Solo in that Falls Count Anywhere matchup. Just last week, you saw the highlights taking down Karrion Cross in the London street fight. Champa has been pushed to his limit in some of the most extreme conditions and has come out on the other end. Will tonight be Champa's night to take the next step? All remains to be seen, three viable contenders. The winner of this matchup meets Sheamus this Saturday night, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 5 p.m. Eastern time at Saturday night's main event. Tommaso Ciampa may be the smartest man in the ring right now, held his ground until Karrion Cross tried to strike first, and Ciampa met him with that bicycle knee. We saw how chaotic that opening match got between Kevin Owens, Sol Sokoa, and of course the winner, Sheamus. God only knows what's going to be on hand between Cross, Nakamura, and Ciampa. And again, there's almost so much action to keep up with tonight, so much news. Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch, their situation breaking down here in the middle of Dublin, Ireland earlier tonight. We've seen Sol Sokoa ambush Kevin Owens backstage. Sol Sokoa's action is the whole reason we are having this Deadly Games Eliminator here tonight. Now, of course, the news that just broke moments ago. Next week on Raw, we are back in the state, St. Louis, Missouri. Tyler Bate will go one-on-one -on -one with Seth freaking Rollins. And if Tyler Bate can defeat Rollins one-on-one, -on -one, he will earn himself a spot in the WWE Championship match Sunday night, November 19th at Survivor Series which will then make that one-on-one -on -one match a triple threat matchup. It just adds another extra layer of difficulty for all the men still left in this Deadly Games Eliminator. We could be looking at one of the men right now, or possibly it will be Sheamus that will be involved in possible triple threat match at Madison Square Garden. It was originally supposed to be Lashley and Rollins has broken down into a locker room. Absolute free-for-all trying to take advantage of the opportunity. Nonetheless, who's going to reach up and grab the brass ring? Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, is certainly going to have a lot of writing on the WWE Championship matchup. Nonetheless, Karrion Cross, the only man standing momentarily, and Nakamura, big time Nita Champa. Again, as we mentioned the last time we saw Shinsuke Nakamura in action was just a few weeks ago, picking up the W over Apollo Crews inside the squared circle. No love lost between the Harbinger of Doom and the Blackheart. The Champa with another victory over Cross last week in that London street fight in a situation that started over a month ago when Cross defeated, or I should say Champa defeated Cross in singles action. Champa really with the momentum over the man in the black and the gold. But will carry and Cross bounce back tonight? Will he use those losses as motivation to drive him to the finals of the Deadly Game Eliminator this Saturday? All remains to be seen as Tommaso Ciampa now throwing haymakers, beating down on Karrion Cross, picking up where he left off seven nights ago in the 0-2. Back and forth, the pendulum momentum swings all throughout this matchup in a big time discus lariat. Tommaso Ciampa sending Shinsuke Nakamura and for that matter, Karrion Cross's head into the fifth row. Gets the two count there, close call. Champa had both competitors down, but unfortunately not able to see a conclusion. Champa breaking the difference that time and just going back to the well with what works. But don't turn your back on this dangerous, sinister destroyer known as Karrion Cross. Talk about all the chaos that has been. Raw Halloween here in Dublin. What about the Intercontinental Championship match earlier tonight? Sami Zayn so close to accomplishing his goal of winning that championship. 
I, I still can't believe throwing caution in the wind, that massive moonsault from the top rope down to the floor, breaking through the announce table to LA Knight. But unfortunately for Sami Zayn, LA Knight just got that lariat in for the second time and was able to knock Sami out long enough to retain the Intercontinental Championship. I said it before, I'll say it again, Raw Halloween 2023, going down in the record books is one of the most chaotic, anarchy in the arena type nights. That's all we can really describe it as. I don't know. I know it's October 30th. I know it's mischief night. Maybe we can blame it all on that. Nonetheless, Nakamura, Champa Cross. I'm sure Sheamus has got his eyes locked on this matchup to see who is going to be his opponent when these superstars are back in the States this Saturday night. Well, right now it is the three arena. It is Dublin, Ireland. It is week two of the international tour on the road to Survivor Series, Sunday night, November the 19th. And Seth Rollins waits in the wind for who his WWE Championship challenger is going to be. Originally thought it was going to be Bobby Lashley. Then Lashley got taken out. Then six Raw superstars given an opportunity. So far, Sheamus has advanced to Saturday night's main event this weekend. One of these three men will meet him there. And of course, next week on Raw, Tyler Bate with a chance to absolutely seize the opportunity. If he can defeat Seth Rollins for a third time, he will join the WWE Championship matchup, regardless of who wins the Deadly Games Eliminator, making it a triple threat at Survivor Series. Wait a minute, carrying cross. Look at this. My goodness. Champa face first. What do you want to call that, an F10? And almost had him there. Cross half a second away from making a trip to Milwaukee. And not to disarray from the action inside the squared circle, but again, Tyler Bate owns two victories over Seth Rollins. And some may be questioning why Tyler Bate needs to defeat Rollins again to challenge him to the WWE Championship. Remember, eight nights ago, Tyler Bate had a chance to take down LA Knight for the Intercontinental title at Clash at the Castle. Unfortunately, failed to do so. So Tyler Bate, this championship, I should say those victories over the champion in Seth Rollins, not necessarily going by the wayside, but if he wants a shot at Rollins, he's got to earn it once more. Everybody's scratching and clawing for opportunity, but who is going to take the fullest advantage? Will it be one of these three men, a part of the WWE title matchup at Survivor Series? Tommaso Ciampa, big time neck breaker, carrying cross face first off the canvas. Things are breaking down. This is absolute chaos in this triple threat match. The fatigue's got to start to set in at some point. Who's going to be the last man standing? And who's going to have it in them long enough to, to be able to secure, secure a three count? Excuse me. Nakamura seems to be the man with the wheels spinning right now. Taking down Champa immediately turns his sight to cross. Well, the king of strong style take the next step on Monday Night Raw. Had a couple of opportunities this year at the Intercontinental Championship. Did not go Nakamura's way. Remember, he was a participant, as well as Tommaso Ciampa. Back in July in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup, the matchup Seth Rollins won, which propels him to win the WWE Championship a month later at SummerSlam. Momentum is just swinging from corner to corner to corner in this match. Just like that, Nakamura was in control of the ring. Now carrying Cross takes it. Also coming your way next week in St. Louis, Missouri. Remember, Carmelo Hayes is going to be back in action on Monday Night Raw with a mystery opponent. Ilya Dragunov, former Raw superstar, won the Cruiserweight Classic earlier this month, which sent him to Friday Night SmackDown. He will challenge Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight title in the near future, but trade compensation from SmackDown to Raw was promised. And finally, next week, we're going to decide who that is. Who is going to fight Carmelo Hayes next week? Not wait to get to St. Louis and... Not to disregard that, but I think the referee just got caught in the line of fire. Wait a minute, and it might come back to haunt, unfortunately, Karrion Cross, who's got that cross jacket locked in, or that straight jacket, I should say, on Nakamura, and there's no referee to see if Shinsuke had a, enough left in him. The referee just getting caught in the crossfires of the chaos that is this matchup here, and it might have tossed Karrion Cross that time. High knee to Champa, and now turns his sights to Shinsuke Nakamura yet again. But a fisherman buster, and Nakamura's down momentarily. 
Referee is back to his feet. Luckily, Champa takes advantage. Knocks Nakamura outside the squared circle. Tommaso goes behind off the reversal. Kick to the gut. Wait a minute. Champa. Very tail ending on carrying cross. The referee. A little bit slow to get the three count here. Still trying to get his wits about him. And unfortunately, that may have just cost Champa. Oh my goodness, well Champ almost had Cross, Nakamura starting to rally at ringside, and the matchup propels forward. Who is going to have it in him as Nakamura gets knocked off his feet yet again? Tommaso Champa hung up in the top rope, big time counter by the Harbinger of Doom. Will that do it? And Karrion Cross so close. Who is going to fight Sheamus again live this Saturday night? Saturday night's main event, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Sheamus waits in the winds as Karrion Cross is dazed and knocked Amora with a King Shasta there, but Tommaso Chippa not even allowing a one count. Knocked Amora might have thrown his best shot, but not able to take advantage because of the extra body in this match. Man, just like that, that really shows you the dangers of a triple threat matchup. You gotta watch your back at all times. Nakamura might have had this thing had it not been for the extra set of legs. Oh, wait a minute, Nakamura is dazed, and Champ is looking to take advantage of a damaged Harbinger of Doom. A second fairy tale ending. And Tommaso Champa is heading back home to Milwaukee this Saturday night. What a victory! Tommaso Ciampa continues to climb the ranks of Monday Night Raw. Back-to-back -back main event victories and sticking it to the Harbinger of Doom, carrying Cross yet again. What a main event and what a win for the Blackheart of Monday Nights. Here is your winner, Tommaso Ciampa. Well, there you see it, ladies and gentlemen. Four bodies have fallen by the wayside here tonight in Dublin, Ireland. This Saturday night, back in the States, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It is Saturday night's main event, and it'll be the Celtic Warrior Sheamus battling the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, to challenge for the WWE Championship November the 19th at Survivor Series. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Nomination Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. But nonetheless, we are live from the Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for Saturday night's main event, Deadly Games Eliminator Finals, and it is fight night for the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Sheamus has had two opportunities at Rollins, Will the third time be a charm if he can get through Champa? The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! An unforgiven Sheamus fell to Seth Rollins at Clash of the Castle in a brutal last man standing matchup it was the same result but will sheamus if he can get through champa tonight get that one more meeting with seth rollins and be able to capitalize could the third time be a charm will the luck be with the irish if sheamus can get that momentum and get that opportunity november the 19th at survivor series or will the victor be this man the blackheart of monday nights and his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. Well, Tommaso Ciampa fighting out of familiar soils tonight. From right here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, his people behind him. 
And Tommaso Ciampa, who has been climbing the ladder on Monday Night Raw over the last few months, looks at the biggest opportunity of his career tonight. Could Ciampa be going one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship for the very first time in his career? All remains to be seen in his main event time here in Milwaukee. Bell has sounded and we are underway. Ciampa, Sheamus, and hide under the gate, the action goes. WWE Championship opportunity is at stake. We started with six men. We are down to two. And of course, the X Factor of Tyler Bate, who may be joining the championship affairs at Survivor Series if he can go three for three against Rollins this Monday night. Remains to be seen what happens there. But tonight is about Champa and it is about Sheamus. And one of these men, regardless of if it's one on one or a triple threat, will challenge for the WWE title at Survivor Series. Sheamus came high out of the gate off the opening bell, and it may have costed him. Sheamus might have handed the momentum on a silver platter to the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. Sheamus able to survive. Tommaso Ciampa over the last year and change in WWE, holding the Intercontinental Championship, holding the World Tag Team titles, and then when he was split apart from his tag team partner, Johnny Gargano, in the draft back in March, Champa started from the bottom on Monday Night Raw and has worked his way to this opportunity tonight. Will the ladder of success continue to move in Champa's favor? Or is Sheamus just coming out with the luck of the Irish on his side? Was able to get the win in his hometown of Dublin, Ireland this past Monday night. But now tonight making the trip to Champa's backyard of Milwaukee. Who is it gonna favor? Sheamus was this big time backbreaker on Champa right now. Champa even in pain by the powerhouse of this match, the discus lariat. Champa able to take this snot nosed Celtic warrior off his feet momentarily, but it didn't last long. Champa able to survive. And again, Sheamus with that grueling last man standing matchup. Just less than two weeks ago against Seth Rollins and Cardiff Wales clash in the castle and it was really his own anger that blinded Sheamus near the end of that matchup so hell-bent on retribution that may have costed him in the end and his chances, chances excuse me, to become WWE Champion. However, Sheamus not looking to make any mistakes tonight. Big time power slam on the outside of the ring. It's Tommaso Ciampa feeling the brunt of Sheamus' desire to become champion. Champa may be fighting out of familiar soils tonight, but Sheamus with a decorated history with Seth Rollins, possibly the rivalry of the year in 2023. Sheamus is looking for a third round, and he's looking for a third and final opportunity against Seth freaking Rollins. Fucking Champa back to the outside and continuing the offense. And Sheamus is all over Champa. First, Tommaso had the momentum in this match off a misstep by the Celtic Warrior, but Sheamus has flipped into a new gear and is completely manhandling Tommaso Champa. Sheamus now goes to the top rope and going for an elbow drop of that uncharacteristic maneuver. Did not pay Sheamus dividends. Now Champa with a high knee. Into the cover. May do it, not just yet. Remember, not only this past Monday Night on Raw were these two men successful in their various triple threat matches in the Deadly Games Eliminator, but seven nights prior to that, Tommaso Ciampa defeating Karrion Cross in that London street fight. Back-to-back -back victories for the Black Card on Raw. But will that momentum bleed into another victory here tonight against Sheamus at Saturday night's main event? Sheamus on the top, Tommaso Ciampa on his tail. And things about to go from bad to worse. A superplex by Tommaso Ciampa. Sheamus down dead center of the ring. And Tommaso Ciampa is beginning to rally here in Milwaukee. And we never count out the Celtic Warrior. In a matter of a second, able to get back the momentum, at least temporarily. As Ciampa not allowing the mount by Sheamus. Couple of shots of his own. This main event coming to you on behalf of Monday Night Raw, and it's a matchup that will drastically impact the WWE Championship affairs of Survivor Series. 
And I can't wait to see this coming Monday night, the champion himself, Seth freaking Rollins. He has been defeated not once, but twice by the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, in recent memory on Monday Night Raw. And if Tyler Bate can do it again this week, he'll, it'll become a triple threat in Madison Square Garden. As Champ almost had Sheamus there, but Sheamus able to kick out. Gotta wonder what Ciampa and Sheamus are thinking. First they thought maybe a one-on-one -on -one match if they can get through the Deadly Games Eliminator. Now the X Factor of Tyler Bates. So many people have been gunning for the WWE Championship. Remember the whole reason we had this Deadly Games Eliminator was because the original number one contender, Bobby Lashley, the man who was originally set to face. Oh, wait a minute, hold that thought. Hold that thought, Ciampa. Down goes Sheamus. Off the double knees, to the back. Oh, but the Celtic Warriors still in a close call for Chippa there. Almost had his ticket to New York City punched. Now Chippa trying to continue the momentum, but Sheamus rolling him over in a couple of stiff forearms. Well, as we were mentioning, Bobby Lashley originally was supposed to be the man fighting Seth Rollins on Survivor Series. Sol Sokoa taking out Lashley, leading to this Deadly Games Eliminator, which has led us to the finals here tonight. Sheamus and Ciampa with a huge opportunity. Neither man looking to see it slip through their fingers. Ciampa almost had Sheamus a few moments ago, and it may have lit a fire under the Celtic Warrior. A sense of urgency now. Off the leapfrog, off the down, and a took to world backbreaker dead center of the canvas, leading to a cover. And will that be enough? Not just yet, Ciampa's still in this thing. This is a bruising main event between two tough fighters on Monday Night Raw. Gotta wonder what Seth Rollins is thinking right now. Which man he would prefer to meet at Survivor Series. Does he feel more confident against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus knowing that he's beat him twice before? Or maybe Tommaso Ciampa who hasn't been to the main event just yet. Tommaso Ciampa dropping Sheamus on the apron with a huge DDT, completely changing the momentum of this match. Two. And Sheamus on a knee and gets met with one by a flying Blackheart. Take nothing away from Ciampa. He may not have been to the main event of Monday Night Raw just yet, but he's a former Intercontinental Champion, former World Tag Team Champion. Don't forget about his success down in NXT was the face of the brand as the NXT Champion at one point. And he's looking to find that same result on Monday Night Raw as he comes diving through the sky and taking out Sheamus in the middle of Milwaukee. Business is picking up in your Saturday night's main event. Champ on the apron, Sheamus now. Oh, getting ragdolled off the apron. Watch out for Champ over the cactus elbow right to the heart and possibly to the desires and the dreams of the Celtic warrior. Champa not done. i oh, going for a second cactus elbow, but went to the well too many times and it might have cost him. Sheamus had it scattered on the second time and oh, Champa getting hung up in the barricade. Champa might have bit off more than he can chew off that maneuver. And just like how Sheamus' own anger and frustration blinded him at Clash of the Castle, leading to an unfortunate defeat. Was that the result for Ciampa? That misstep might have handed Sheamus the victory as Sheamus is just continuing this brawling fight on the outside of the squared circle. Ciampa reeling in pain, referee. And a count of six, I believe, as the Celtic Warrior sends the Blackheart back inside the ropes. Now once again, Sheamus scaling the ropes. It has not worked out for him throughout this matchup, and it doesn't again. Another misstep, and Ciampa looking to take advantage with a very tail ending. Into the cover, will that do it? Not just yet, Sheamus is still alive. Tommaso Ciampa off the misstep, caught Sheamus in an uncarious situation. A fairy tale ending in the middle of the canvas. However, the fairy tale for Tommaso Ciampa yet to be written. Sheamus down in the middle of the squared circle as Tommaso Ciampa trying to keep his momentum red hot. Milwaukee, Wisconsin behind him. Will it be a huge homecoming victory for Ciampa tonight? Bringing Sheamus to his feet. 
And whipping that dead weight into the corner, the Celtic Warrior might have survived the fairy tale ending. Well, I was about to say, I don't know how much more he's got in him, but there's a reversal there. Never count out the Celtic Warrior, that's for damn sure. As he's got his eyes locked on the black heart. But what has Sheamus got in mind here? Possibly going for a white noise. Champa with a reversal and a big time bicycle knee. And Champa strutting his stuff in the middle of the form. He's got to stay focused on the task at hand. Don't let this hometown crowd rile up Champa too much because it may allow Sheamus to come back. And that is what we are seeing right now a rally of the Celtic Warrior. Tommaso Champa is now down. Flat on his back, staring up at the lights of the forum. And Sheamus, for a third time in this match, scales the ropes. And this time, Alex for a knee right to the heart. Possibly the throat of Champa. And that high risk maneuver is a high reward for the Celtic Warrior. And that great white soared through the sky, finally got his wish on the delivery. And now Tommaso Champa may be seeing stars. Rolling to the outside, trying to create some distance. However, it's Sheamus closing the gap. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Sit down, power bomb on the outside of the ring by Sheamus. Sheamus kicking things into a new gear tonight. Going to a place that he might not enjoy going to. Digging down deeper, pulling out different tricks out of the hat doing whatever means necessary to beat down Tommaso Ciampa, a man who has had wars inside of the ring and punch his one possible one last chance to fight Seth Rollins for the WWE title. Back inside the ring, Ciampa goes, not by will, but by force. Sheamus has turned this match on his head, ragdolling Ciampa once more off the gut wrench. Enter the cover to go to Survivor Series. Not just yet, Champa's still into it. And what a deadly games eliminator final this has been. Champa trying to spring to his feet, however, gets caught by the Great White as Sheamus whips off a weakened opponent and another tilt to world backbreaker, just going to the well with what works. All about inflicting the punishment as Sheamus just trying to wear down Champa, but Champa's still got some life left in him, throwing some closed fists. Again, trying to create that distance, but Sheamus not allowing it. Another failed reversal attempt by Tommaso. Are you not entertained? Yeah, what a main event tonight here at Saturday night's main event. Thank you for joining us once again here in Milwaukee. As Sheamus off the top again with the knee. Sheamus may be nearing victory as he now institutes a series of elbows. To the already possibly beaten, broken, and certainly black heart of Tommaso Ciampa. Sheamus still hungry for that retribution ever since Rollins put him on the shelf and cost him several months of his career back in the summer. Looking for the third time to be a charm at Survivor Series. However, a misstep, and Tommaso Ciampa with the hangman's neckbreaker. Quick reversal by Tommaso. Can he take advantage? Kick to the gut. Muscles up Sheamus. Backbreaker again. Tommaso Ciampa is coming alive. And will the fairy tale ending lead to a fairy tale victory? A cover. Tommaso Ciampa is going to Survivor Series. What a victory for the Blackheart of Monday Night Raw with his back up against the wall and his hometown crowd behind him. Tommaso Ciampa rallies in the end, takes Sheamus off his feet on multiple occasions and a second fairy tale ending leads to the biggest victory of Tommaso Ciampa's career. Here is your winner, Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso Ciampa will challenge for the WWE Championship Sunday night, November the 19th in Madison Square Garden. The Deadly Games Eliminator started with six. And now we have your sole survivor, Tommaso Ciampa, 
versus Seth Rollins, at least for now, for the WWE title. But will this singles affair become a triple threat? We find out in just 48 hours on Monday Night Raw. The big strong boy Tyler Bate has defeated Rollins once. He did it again, but can he go three for three and make the Survivor Series title match a triple threat? We find out this coming Monday night on Raw. Thank you for joining us here on Saturday Night's Main Event, and we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody, from Milwaukee. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. In the chaos of the Raw locker room, amidst hungry competitors vying for their shot, Bobby Lashley had emerged as the number one contender after a war with Brock Lesnar. However, fate had different plans, and battle scars from the Beast combined with a brutal assault from Solo Sokoa left Lashley sidelined with injury. His loss of contendership opened the door for a waiting line of superstars eager to make their mark. Stepping into the void, six men were given a golden opportunity in the Deadly Games Eliminator. In a fierce Saturday night fight in Milwaukee, Tommaso Ciampa clashed with the Celtic warrior Sheamus, standing victorious as the rightful number one contender. Ciampa, a force to be reckoned with, has been on a relentless rise throughout the year, defeating some of the best and earning his chance at immortality. But standing in Ciampa's way, is Seth freaking Rollins. A man who has been perched atop whichever brand he finds himself on in 2023. Gold continues to find its way around Rollins' waist and victories follow suit. Rollins looks to etch his legacy in stone, yet he faces a formidable adversary in Champa, a black heart willing to stop at nothing to tear down the visionary. Rollins, relentless in his pursuit, seeks to continue writing his legacy, but in Tommaso Ciampa, he faces a force that refuses to be denied. As these two warriors prepare to collide at Survivor Series, the stage is set for an epic collision between an architect of destiny and a black heart with glory on his mind. New York City awaits as these two fighters prepare to collide at Survivor Series. Will Rollins continue his reign as champion or will Champa prove that his black heart is the key to toppling a king? We find out at Survivor Series, where legends are made and only the strongest survive. It is the Monday Night Raw portion of the main event tonight at Survivor Series, and the WWE title is on the line in MSG. The number one contender, the Blackheart, seeks a new Goldie around his waist as he walks down the aisle to the biggest match of his career. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. The Celtic warrior Sheamus, all bodies that Ciampa left by the wayside in his pursuit of the WWE title. Ciampa might have come up short in the tag team main event on Raw, but two weeks ago laid out Seth Rollins with a fairy tale ending. Will tonight be a fairy tale ending to this Cinderella story here at Survivor Series? Tommaso Ciampa has been on the rise week after week, month after month, scratching and clawing for this inevitable opportunity. But we cannot discount the man who stands across the squared circle from Ciampa tonight. 
the revolutionary, the visionary, the WWE champion, Seth freaking Rollins. Seth Rollins has had a career year, if I say so myself. Was World Heavyweight Champion walking into 2023. Had a stump in the road when he lost that title at WrestleMania. Rollins was drafted to Raw. Certainly made a few enemies along the way, but ultimately won the money in the bank in July and wasted little time cashing it in one month later at SummerSlam. Rollins was the WWE Champion. He defended it successfully first at Unforgiven, and then at Clash of the Castle both times against Sheamus, and now rolls into this matchup against Tommaso Ciampa. You gotta wonder what Rollins' psyche is be watching the chaos of Raw play out as so many opportunities were given to superstars to seize the moment and seize this title matchup tonight. But Tommaso Ciampa, the sole number one contender, and can Ciampa be the one to take down the visionary tonight in the Garden? Introducing the challenger from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Seth. Certainly a big fight feel in the world's most famous arena. That WWE Championship has changed hands many a times in these hallowed halls. Will it change hands here tonight? Seth Rollins handing over one of the most prestigious prizes in this industry and Tommaso Ciampa looking at what could be his ultimate prize here tonight. Tommaso Ciampa, Seth Rollins, two Monday Night Raw All-Stars set to clash in one half of your main event. The bell has sounded and we are underway. As we mentioned, Ciampa laying out Rollins with not one but two fairy tale endings recently on Monday Night Raw. Rollins and Karrion Cross getting the victory over Ciampa and Sheamus this past Monday night. Not a situation where Ciampa's shoulders were pinned to the mat, but you gotta wonder if that affected the momentum and the psyche of Tommaso coming into this thing. All remains to be seen at the end of the day when push has came to shove and Champa has fought for his own. He has been nothing short of successful over the last few months. We've seen him in wars with Solo Sokoa, Kerry and Cross, among others, and Champa has come out on the other side as a victor. But Seth Rollins, as we mentioned, no matter the brand he has been on, whether it's been SmackDown or Raw this year, has found himself in the main event with gold around his waist and Rollins not looking to let up on his position in the spotlight just yet. Very interesting situation as Seth Rollins has been here in these type of main events before with a WWE title on the line. Tommaso Ciampa needs to avoid mistakes like that, miscalculating strikes and not getting overzealous in this such monumentous clash for him here this evening. Make no mistake about it, Tommaso Ciampa has made have some big time shows in over the years here in WWE. One of NXT black and gold legends, dare I say so myself, former NXT champion. This time last year, Ciampa walked into Survivor Series and retained his Intercontinental Championship at the time. But can he survive tonight and take down Rollins for the WWE title? Ciampa's worked so hard, scratched and clawed like we mentioned surviving the Deadly Games Eliminator, all for tonight's opportunity. And Seth Rollins just trying to beat out the hopes and dreams of Ciampa. We're gonna remind Tommaso Ciampa that this is not going to be a fairy tale ending that he so prays for. Seth Rollins does thing his way. He does not associate with many of the Monday Night Raw locker room stars. Rollins is his own man, his own superstar a level of his own in his mind. And Rollins out to prove exactly why once more tonight. You gotta give credit where credit's due. You may not like the attitude of Rollins. He may be smug, he may be egotistical at times, but he produces results. 
a war with Sheamus and Unforgiven in September. Rollins got the one, two, three, as clean as could be. Last month at Clash of the Castle, some can speculate whether Sheamus lost that match or was he simply beaten by his own anger and frustrations. Nonetheless, though, Rollins still left Cardiff with the championship, but Tommaso Ciampa seeks a different result here tonight. Awesome strikes by Champa, mounting the offense level by level. Discus Lariat only took Rollins down momentarily in a Michinuku driver by the champion. This is, of course, the Monday Night Raw portion of your main event. Still a world championship match from SmackDown to come. Now Rollins looking to knock Champa off the apron. Champa looking to survive that misstep. Now look at this. Now grabbing a hold of Rollins and snapping him on the top rope. Ugly landing for Seth that time. And now a game of cat and mouse being played between champion and challenger. Champa getting the best of it. Rollins miscalculating his steps there. Getting thrown to the barricade as Tommaso Champa seeks championship glory here tonight. Oh man, air raid crash on the outside. That hurts inside the ropes. It's gonna hurt even worse outside the ropes. Champa back inside, not looking to stay for a warm welcome on the outskirts of the ring. Got to get things done in between the squared circle tonight. Another air raid crash into the cover to win the gold, not just yet. Very smart by Champa though. First the air raid crash on the outside, then doubled up with it on the inside where he could try for a pinfall. However, Seth Rollins is still alive. Master Champa knows he cannot win the championship via count out. Not looking to stay, as we mentioned, on the outside for too long, where Rollins has that championship advantage. If you know one thing about Seth, he is not afraid to take advantage of said advantage in any sort of situation. Right now, Rollins is just trying to look to get back into this thing after Champa mounted some huge offense a few moments ago, but Rollins giving it right back to him. Rip toward knee to the jawline. The WWE Champion. This is one thing about Seth Rollins is a flip of the switch, one maneuver, one strike, and he can completely change the tides in a championship matchup. One of the reasons why Rollins is so dangerous and one of the reasons he has held such a top position here in the WWE in the spotlight almost year after year. Especially you look at Seth Rollins and it's been well documented. He did not have a 2022 last year that he so would have liked. This year has really been a comeback year. Rollins wasn't even on the Survivor Series card 12 months ago. And I think after this maneuver, I don't think we're going to be seeing Tommaso Chip on any cards if this keeps up. German suplex from the top. It delivers a elbow right to the gut. Tommaso Ciampa kicks out. Rollins starting to get frustrated, which he cannot allow. Man, what a combination by the visionary. German suplex sending Ciampa for a ride. An elbow goes for the frog splash, but Tommaso Ciampa had it scouted. I'm sure the challenger did hours on hours worth of homework on Seth Rollins' arsenal trying to come into this championship match prepared tonight. Rollins now on the retreat. As Tommaso Ciampa starting to get the gear spinning in this match. Ciampa full head of steam. Big time knee on the outside. Something Ciampa has used time and time again throughout his climb on Monday Night Raw. Remember, Ciampa was in that same Money in the Bank match back in July that Rollins took down the briefcase. An opportunity that could have gone Ciampa's way went to the visionary. I bet that stung that night all the months ago at Money in the Bank. And I bet that's something Ciampa has not forgotten leading into this contest tonight at Survivor Series. Ciampa with Rollins, oh man. Oh man, what a backbreaker. On the knee brace as well. And Rollins kicking out. New York City coming unglued. This is awesome between Champa and Rollins. What a emphatic backbreaker to Seth Rollins moments ago. Slingshotted off the ropes and right down the knee. And Champa trying to follow it up with Seth Rollins. 
Sense of urgency there out of the champion that time. Oh, it's not trying to allow that offense to stack up as Champa was starting to get rolling. And look at this, Seth! Speaking of getting rolling. And now a cover by Rollins. And Tommaso Ciampa survives again. And Seth Rollins continues to get frustrated. Every time Ciampa kicks out, Rollins is getting more and more angered within. And that's something he cannot allow. He's got to do just what we saw a moment ago. Somersault plancha to the outside. And continuing the beat down on the number one contender. Tommaso Ciampa eating a knee right to the skull. Now Rollins turning the tides on the Blackheart, sending him back inside the squared circle. Rollins looking for an emphatic victory as he heads to the top, hits another elbow drop, and that may be all she wrote to retain his WWE title. Tommaso Ciampa still alive. A lot of near falls in this matchup thus far, and especially for the champion trying to retain his title. Maso Ciampa somehow still in this matchup, but obviously is starting to hurt as we are in deep waters here, and Ciampa has felt a lot of the best offense out of Rollins. Oh no, what has Rollins got in mind? Wait a minute! Curb stop! Elevation delivered to Ciampa! No, the number one contender still alive! How? How in the hell? The surgically repaired neck of Tommaso Ciampa absorbing barely that curb stop and somehow the black heart is still pumping. Tommaso Ciampa is still in this matchup. Rollins is in disbelief and now he begins to throw any means necessary at the number one contender. And now what? Seth Rollins resorting to any means necessary again, as we mentioned, trying to go for the crossface. Not watching his ring awareness, and Rollins is getting frustrated. He cannot believe that Tommaso Ciampa kicked out of that curb stomp. Kick to the gut, could have been going for a pedigree. Tommaso coming alive, power bomb. Tommaso Ciampa, his will to succeed, his will to come out of the biggest match of his career as the new WWE Champion here in Madison Square Garden is driving him. Adrenaline pumping through the veins, surviving, not thriving. Seth Rollins looking to crack the momentum, exposed Tommaso Ciampa tonight. Back to the top, but that has been a detriment. On and off to Rollins, a missed elbow drop, and Ciampa takes advantage. Tommaso may have kicked out of the curb stomp, may have absorbed all that offense momentarily, but how much is left in the number one contender? Tommaso's gotta be her, and that's a surgically repaired neck of Tommaso Ciampa that years ago forced him to relinquish the NXT Championship. If he could survive everything Rollins has dished out, he may be leaving with the WWE Championship. Off the middle buckle this time, trying to create some distance. Rollins a little far out. Oh man, missed collision. Close call there. Rollins better be thanking his lucky stars. Tommaso Ciampa knocked down. Rollins kicked to the chest. We have seen a win matches in the past with that maneuver. And will it deliver the three that he so hopes for? Not just yet. Man, this is what the WWE title is all about. What a magical night it has been here at Survivor Series. New York City, Madison Square Garden. Moments are being made, legends are being created. Tommaso Ciampa looking to etch his name in the annals of history tonight and become the new WWE Champion. Rollins down momentarily. Ciampa back up to a precarious situation. And delivers the middle buckle DDT he was hoping for moments ago. And now into the cover to win the gold. He's gonna have to try a little harder. Seth Rollins still is alive in this contest. Now look at the dead weight of Rollins. That shows you the exhaustion as he gets sent over the top rope. But Champa hot on his tails. Soaring through the sky, take it out Rollins. Willing to throw caution in the winds and the means of success. 
On the outside, Seth Rollins dazed, Seth Rollins confused, rolled inside the ring, not by will, but by force of the number one contender. Champa unloading with strikes, lefts and rights. Rollins with absolutely no way to get out of this right now. Back up against the wall as the challenger has his foot on the gas pedal. Hoisting the champion up in the air. Oh man, almost a jackknife powerbomb by Champa. Reaching deep in the arsenal to try to throw Rollins off his game and put the exclamation point on this contest. Rollins, however, still alive. How much does Champa have left? How much does Rollins have left? Who is going to get that one final blow and leave with the WWE title? It's been a hell of a matchup on both sides of the ring. Make no mistake about it. Counter by Rollins. Tommaso Champa on roller skates, set to the corner again. Wait a minute, Rollins going back to the well with a second elevated curb stomp. And that'll do it. An amazing effort by Tommaso Ciampa tonight. How he kicked out the first time, a story we will never know the end to. But Seth Rollins tonight delivering not one, but two emphatically delivered. Curb stomps off the middle buckle, and it keeps down the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa. No fairy tale ending to this story. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Well, make no mistake about it. Like him or not, Seth Rollins has put his name in the absolute legends of Madison Square Garden tonight. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way, live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present WWE Bad Blood.